Hi, this is Alec with MountainRiches.com, a free get paid to website that pays users to complete free offers and surveys. Okay, in this video we're going to create a really simple application for the iPhone, iPod Touch, or the new iPad. Um, we're kind of assuming that you've already downloaded the developer's tools from Apple, which includes the latest SDK, uh, Xcode, and Interface Builder. If you haven't downloaded that, you can run over to developer.apple.com and get them for free. You do have to register but it's not that big of a hassle. Alright, so you're going to start up Xcode. Uh, it's found in the developer folder on your hard drive. And when you're at Xcode, you're wanting to create a new Xcode project. And there's a lot of preset templates here that are really great for creating more advanced applications. But for the purpose of what we're doing, you can just create a window-based application and name it whatever you want. Something simple. Um, Hello World is kind of what we're naming this one. Um, but and it'll give you everything you have in your files here. I've already started this project, so I'm going to go ahead and open that. Uh, once you have your Hello World uh, file up, you can see that there's a lot of things that have already been created for you. And in fact, if you run the application, it'll run and build, but it'll just provide a blank window, and there won't be anything in there. Yeah, really nothing too interesting. So we can quit the iPhone simulator and we can go back into Xcode and what we want to do is we want to be able to display this text and we're actually going to make this program a lot more complicated than it needs to be because in Interface Builder you could just set up some static text that says hello world in an image and that would be the end of it but it's really important to know how to be able to change text through code um, in your files that will appear when the user is running your application so we're going to start off in the interface file which is kind of just defines and states very briefly what the instance variables and what the methods for this particular class file is going to be. This is actually a delegate here, but um, in the implementation file is where we go ahead and define those things. And there's a lot of methods already defined for us, which makes things really helpful. But in the interface file, we're going to define a new label, something that's going to display this text. We're actually going to start that out with an IB outlet um, and a UI label that points to a variable such called label. Um, the IB outlet has a similar method used for methods called IB action that literally does nothing. It means void. It, all of, the only purpose it has is so that interface builder can pick it up and be able to know, all right, this is an outlet and then this is a method. So once we have this label defined, we can go ahead and open up our resources folder. And you see that we have a main window.xib and the preferences file. So if we open up main window, interface builder actually opens up and it shows us the blank window that we saw earlier. It also shows us a library, some more things about the file. You guys actually probably see this starting up interface builder. And then our inspector. Um, so we can use our library and we can search for the UI label that we just put in there. And we can drop that in there. And we can make it bigger. And you can see that Apple has these interface guidelines that really help to make things readable and so that things kind of stick the same throughout all applications. You can adjust the font, font size, and alignment over here. We'll center it. And you can see that the default text is labeled. So if we save this and just ran it, it would say label in the window. See label. Um, so we can go back into Interface Builder and we can also drop in a image. Um, this is going to be static. We're not going to set this through our controller. We're just going to set it in Interface Builder and we can actually open up uh, Mountain Riches uh, images if it has anything interested in, like this iPod touch we can just drop this into the resources folder and we do want to copy items into the destination groups folder so check this so that if you actually ship your application the image is included in the folder and that way everyone will be able to read it if you don't copy it in here and build it on another computer or actually on the iPhone you won't get the image at all so we want to copy it in there and in the main window we can set that this image is actually going to be our iPod, our iPod touch.jpg.
and it loads the image for us. Really blurry, but that doesn't matter. Um, one thing we want to do is we want to connect the label that we put in our window here to the label that we said that we were going to have in the app delegate. And you can see that there already is an object of the type hello world app delegate. And if we control click from there to our label, we can see that the label outlet that we defined is actually an interface builder. Because we used IB outlet, interface builder was able to pick that up. So we set the connection, we save this, and we can actually go back to the implementation file of hello world app delegate. And you can see the methods here. The first one, really important, is a boolean application that returns yes or no and that its application did finish launching with options and we can override for custom application and basically right after the application finished launching this method is called and when the application finishes launching is when we're gonna set our text so we can see that we set our UI label to a pointer called label so in the implementation file we just have to say label.text is equal to hello world and we can build and run this project and if everything works correctly our application should say hello world in our, Im in our image of an iPod touch perfect works great and that's pretty much the basics for this app uh, application and for this video thanks for watching guys